going on everybody it's SVG here and welcome to another quest guide it's been a long time since I've done one but we're back with the release of ever there's been a bunch of quests that you know have existed and yeah you know we're just gonna do them so right now we're gonna do servant before you can start this quest you're gonna need a few things first of all obviously you're gonna need access to the safe zone I'll show you how to make a whole beacon to get to the safe zone in a little bit a little safe zone guide you can say and also you're gonna have to have completed the collector quest which is a quest where you collect all the key cards and I'll also uh, I'll, I'll be uploading that video separately in a couple of days So you're going to need four things for the components. You're going to need two tape, which is really easy to find. You're going to need a gyroscope, which can be found at construction locations like the demolition spot. And also at the southern tunnel are spots that I know of. There's probably more spots, but those are the ones that I know of. And they can also drop off construction zombies at demolition site. So yeah, that's where you can find a gyroscope. The defibrillator barrier can either be found at the hospital or the hospital store at the mall so i recommend going to the hospital just because the hospital store uh, the mall is always so crowded and last but not least you also need a phone which to my knowledge so so far can only be found at the tech store the game start in the mall so you're gonna have to probably shoot someone when you're in the mall and getting the phone and then after that you got all the component the component crafting recipes you simply craft a component and then the other rare thing you have to find of a horde beacon is the graphics card now the graphics card can only be found in two spots which i was actually able to confirm with danaby he danaby and then axon who are the two people who made the map they said that you can only find it at the game store which is where i found mine and also the hardware store across from it the, strat the best strategy you can do since the graphics card is so rare, and you can do it for any of these other items as well, is come, run with an empty bag and grab everything you find. Because when you grab something, you make spot space for a new thing to potentially spawn, basically. So yeah, remember that it's, it, this, usually, this really applies for everything. If you're in the melee base, for example, you want a gun to spawn, a rare gun to spawn, try and pick everything up so you can make room for that gun to spawn. But yeah, you get what I mean. And then the last rare resource you need for a horde beacon is, of course, the military radio. The military radio can be found at military locations. And also, if you kill a mega at Junction 67, he has a pretty good chance of dropping it as well. So, yeah, military locations, a military locations scattered across the map, you can find a military radio. And that's a rare component, that's the last rare component you need for the horde beacon. And then, after that, you craft a horde beacon. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Craft. Hey YouTube. S O E here. Hey there. Well, I'll just I'll just leave it in the video. Out. Fuck it. There we go. <laughs> you go to one of two spots. You either go to the gas station, which is where where the sacrifice is located in the basement, or in the floating house in town, where you can also find the same spot. And then after that, you sacrifice it. You're free to use the teleporter to access the safe zone, which you can use to start doing quests, trade with them, and all that other good stuff. And that's about it. That's how you get to the safe zone. I was kind of halfway through editing this when I realized, why am I mixing a, a quest that you get later in the game with getting to the safe zone in the first place? So yeah, that, uh, that's why the intro is all jacked up. So if you got till here... Uh, Thank, th thanks, thanks for sticking with me all the way here. But uh, yeah, the actual quest guys are gonna be coming soon when I 
Boom. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you get to the safe zone. I got a, I got the quest guys and a few other videos coming soon. I have a Elver review planned, the quest guys, a Final Fortress video planned, and also a skate video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was very short, but it was very uh fun. Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch right now, by the way, as soon as uh, this video is uploaded. So, you know, hit your boy up with a follow, join in on the stream. We're, we're going to be streaming Elver live and I'm going to be playing through it. I don't know if I'll be doing quests on stream, but we'll see. Right now, the goal on the stream is to get to the dead zone by making a respirator mask. So right now, uh, I'm hunting for gas mask components. So maybe I might make a guide on that later, later down the line as well. But yeah. Hopefully you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.